Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. It's called Glow with Grace, as you probably noticed. And I'm pretty excited to be here. I'm kind of nervous as well, because I've never done videos. I have always been writing. I've never done video projects, but I've been wanting to do this for a little while now to start putting myself out here through videos. And here we are. So I wanted to share where the name came from. Glow with Grace. Um, I didn't know what to call this project, and in the middle of the night, last night, that name came through, Glow with Grace. And to me, what it feels like is uh, the grace part. About almost a year ago now, I became a mum. As some of you probably know who are watching this, our daughter, Araya, was born November the 20th, 2011. And right now, as I make this, she's, you know, two and a half weeks off turning a year old. And the main thing that has helped me to get through this first year of mamahood, the huge learning curves, has been grace, for sure. You know, just surrendering to the flow and asking spirit for help and opening up to that downpouring of grace. So that, that's been very huge part of my life um, this last year, welcoming grace and being in grace as much as I can. Um, as for the glowing part, glow with grace, I guess for me, as I said, you know, I've never really done videos and I kind of um, look on this with the thought of that idea of not kind of hiding the light under a bushel and kind of being out there as a beacon to share things with others, maybe help inspire some people, who knows, but um, just being out there, just glowing, <laughs> hopefully, and hopefully glowing with grace, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. Um, I, For those of you who don't know my background, maybe I'll go there first. Um, let's see, I was born in England. 34 years ago, um, I did a massive amount of long-term volunteering projects after university, lots of different things, um, teaching English in Sri Lanka, working on organic farms in New Zealand, working with people with disabilities, especially in Iceland. I lived in Iceland on and off for three and a half years. And then, while I was in Iceland, I found out all about the raw food lifestyle. I weighed almost 300 pounds at the time. I was really miserable in like a really crazy space in my life. And I decided to choose the raw food lifestyle. My entire life completely changed. I lost more than 160 pounds of excess weight. And I went on to create a website to share my story and books and uh, met another person, my husband, who was following the same kind of lifestyle and doing books and we started to do talks and we got married in 2009 and um, yeah now we live in Ecuador <laughs> and we have a baby so we we traveled together for many years giving talks all over the world about raw food we have the biggest online raw food store in the world which is called the raw food world Dot com or well, my website my original website is called raw reform dot com and um, yeah we moved to Ecuador to Vilcabamba this is where we live now we have um, huge organic gardens and orchards we have seven horses three dogs a cat and now a baby and uh, yeah Araya arrived as I said November twentieth two thousand eleven she came to us in the bath, in an unassisted birth, it was just me and Mr. Monarch there, and um, we did a lotus birth, and uh, so meaning her placenta stayed with her, we, we're doing diaper free, she co-sleeps with us, she's still primarily breastfeeding um, at almost a year old, um, so the whole kind of, you know, attachment parenting picture, so that's where we're at. Um, obviously there's a lot more to the picture than that and probably a lot of you already knew that <laughs> so I'm sorry um, so what now right like 
what is this all about? What is glowing with grace all about? Um, well, I really wanted to share some of the things that I've been going through as a mum. So some kind of mama baby stuff that's definitely um, on the menu. I want to be making some videos about our lives together, things that I've been learning. Um, and there's all kinds of other things that I want to go into as well. Things that aren't necessarily about raw foods. You know, that's pretty much what I've been sharing about since 2004 or something. Um, in public, that's pretty much everything that I've been sharing about is raw food. And so now I want to go into different areas, you know. Um, NVC, for example, is one of my passions. Nonviolent communication. I'd love to make some videos about that. Um, since Arise Birth, I've been using NVC personally as a kind of um, self-inquiry tool, which it really wasn't particularly designed for. <laughs> Not from my perspective anyway. You know, it's more about kind of communication between people, but um, I've been using it in that way and I found it really hugely insightful this last year. Um, so I'd like to kind of go into that a bit. I would like to do um, some lullaby videos, which maybe sounds kind of funny, but I personally found that a lot of lullabies seemed kind of strange. And when I first arrived, especially, I just didn't know what to sing to her. Um, so I found a few things that I really like and I'd like to share those. And maybe I'm going to be able to rope some friends around here into sharing some lullabies too. We'll see. Um, I'd like to do some question and answer videos. If you guys want to leave questions or send questions in, that would be great. You know, um, I'd like to collect those together and do some q and I was thinking to do some recipe videos as well. Um, Araya is, you know, coming up to a year old and people keep asking over and over again, um, what does she eat? You know, what kind of solids is she eating? So primarily she's still on breast milk and she does have some solids and probably since she was about eight months old, something like that, she started to have some different things and um, maybe I'll try and show you some recipes about what it is that she's eating or film her when she's eating some of her stuff. It's all really simple, you know, it's raw, vegan stuff, not even vegan, you know, so bee products at this point because, you know, honey's not for, not for babies under a year old usually, so she hasn't had any. It's all raw vegan so far. What else? Um, I did want to say about my personal policy with comments. Um, if there are comments left that I don't feel comfortable about, I'm going to remove them. I just want to make that clear from the start. Uh, a friend of mine described this in a way once that I found really pertinent. He said, um, if you came to my house and were making comments that I found you know, rude, uncourteous, impolite, upsetting, I wouldn't have you at my house, you know? I would remove you from my house. So it's kind of the same online. Like, this is my kind of home online, and I'm not willing to tolerate that. So I just want to make that clear from the beginning. If you leave comments that to me don't feel positive and helpful, then it's pretty likely they're going to be removed. So just a heads up on that one. Um, what else? Yeah, because Araya is coming up to a year old right now, I'm now feeling like there's more space and more time for me to pursue creative projects like this. You know, creative things other than mothering, which is obviously one of the hugest creative input tasks you could ever be doing. Um, yeah, just now I'm starting to feel like I can do different things. So here I am. I'm kind of nervous to be doing this and I'm stretching my comfort zone and let's see what happens. If you guys have any suggestions for other kind of videos that you'd like to see or you have any helpful comments um, or questions or anything then please leave them below and I'll see how this progresses and for now may we all glow with grace. <laughs>